So we learned that if we have a position time graph given, we can find the velocity time graph by looking at the derivative or the slope of the position time graph. But what do we do if you have to go the other way around? If we are given a velocity time graph and we have to find the position time graph. Well, what's the opposite operation of derivation? It's integration. So those of you that know calculus, uh, the position as a function of time is the integration of the velocity as a function of time. Now those that didn't take calculus yet, this corresponds to the area between the x-axis, which is the time axis in our VT graph, and the graph itself. So in this example, from 0 to 1 second, the area, if you calculate it, was 1 meter per second times 1 second, so we had plus 1 meter of displacement. That means we know from 0 to 1 seconds we advanced by 1 meter. Now the problem is that doesn't tell us anywhere uh, where to start. Those of us of you that took calculus know if you do an integration, there's always an integration constant plus c. That sometimes you forget because it's just plus c in math, but it actually has a meaning in physics. In this case it is the initial position. So in order to be able to draw the position time graph, from the velocity time graph, you need to know the initial position. So let's assume my initial position was at one meter. So that means within one second, I went plus one meter. So at one second, I was at two meters. And I go on from one to two. Well, this is another one meter, one second times one meter per second, plus another one meter. So at two, I'm at three. If I go to 3 plus 1 meter again, so at 3 I'm at 4, and at 4 plus 1 meter again, I'm at 5. Then, for the next two seconds, absolutely nothing happens. I have no area between my x-axis and the graph, so plus 0 meters for the, two uh, for the next two seconds. So nothing happens. So 5, 6, nothing happens. And now it gets interesting. My velocity time graph is below the axis. So what do we do? From 6 to 7, what is my area? My area is minus 2 meters per second times 1 meter. So minus, sorry, times 1 second. So times gives me minus 2 meters. So from 6 to 7, I went down by 2 meters. So starting at 5, going down by 2 means I'm going to end up at 3 from 6 to 7. So I'm here. Starting at 5 meters. And then the next square here is another minus 2 meters. And again, one second times minus two meters per second gives me minus two meters. So I'm going back to uh, one meters per second. And now let's just try to make the best fit graph out of this. So it looks like uh, six. This was our initial uh, position time graph. And if you look at the previous videos, this is the graphs that I used uh, to create that VT graph.